chipsets. So, so far we've talked about the motherboards and we've talked about the form factors and we've talked about the expansion slots. Now we're going to talk about chipsets, specifically the north bridge and the south bridge. This is how the expansion slots are going to make their way to talk to the processor of the computer. So, when I look at the motherboard, the north bridge is this big chip underneath this heat sink here, and the south bridge is the one on the left. It's a smaller chip um, covered up by that heat sink there. You can't actually see the chips on this one. What it does is it's going to determine what, uh, when we talk about a chipset, we're talking about the actual layout of the motherboard, and we're talking about what pieces and parts that motherboard manufacturer has put into it. So we're going to talk about what kind of integrated ports there are. We're going to talk about the types of expansion slots there are. All of that determines the chipset. Because just because I got an ATX board doesn't mean that I get three expansion slots that are PCI X1, PCIe X1 and two PCIe X16s. The chipset determines that. Uh, this includes your memory controllers. So it's going to specify the type of RAM you can use. Can I use DDR2 or DDR3? Can I use ones that are operating at 6400 megabits per second or 18,000 megabits per second, right? All that's determined by the chipset. Uh, chipset is one of those things you can't change after you buy the motherboard. Once you buy it, that's what you're stuck with. I can change out a graphics card, but I can't change out a chipset. Your chipset is divided into two major parts, the north bridge and the south bridge. Uh, and the chipsets cannot be upgraded. You basically have to just replace the entire motherboard if you want a new chipset. So what is the north bridge? Um, north bridge is known as your memory controller hub on most systems. If you have um, Intel, they like to call it the graphics memory controller hub. So if you see MCH or GMCH, we're talking about the north bridge. <coughs> Excuse me. And what it's going to do for you is it is going to connect your CPU with the high speed portions of your computer. That's your RAM, your memory, your AGP or PCIe X16 graphics cards, and any other high speed components like that. So if we can see here in my, uh, my picture, you can see the north part here, we have this processor, and it is talking in the north bridge with all of the high speed components. The south bridge, on the other hand, is going to talk with all of our slower components that we're going to talk about right now. And what the south bridge is going to do is also known as the input-output controller hub. It's what's going to talk with things that are slower, like hard drives, like your CD drives, your floppy drives, your keyboard and your mouse, your USB ports are considered slow, your X1 and your X4 PCIe cards are slow, relatively, your CMOS, which is part of the BIOS, um, your port clusters, all of this input-output stuff is what's going to be talked to through the South Bridge. So North Bridge, very fast, memory, processor, and graphics. South Bridge, pretty much everything else on your computer. Okay? And when you want to talk to something, what ends up happening is your South Bridge actually connects through your North Bridge. So if I'm typing something on the keyboard, it's going to go to the South Bridge. The South Bridge is then going to send it to the North Bridge, who's then going to send it to the processor. Okay? And the reason it does this is if you think about it, your processor is going, say, 3 gigahertz, right? Which is like 3 billion times every second. Really, really fast, right? Um, can I type it 3 billion cycles per second? I'm a pretty fast keyboardist, but I'm not that fast, right? So what ends up happening is I send it, and the south bridge is going to kind of buffer that and get a bunch of stuff together and then send it up to the north bridge. The north bridge is going to combine that with the stuff it's using and then send it up to the processor. And by doing this, we can make maximum efficiency of the processor by letting it operate at the speeds it wants to operate at, 3 gigahertz. Well, everything else is operating in the megahertz range, right? And so we bundle this stuff up, and then we can all go together. It's kind of like if we all wanted to go to D.C. instead of us all taking separate cars and clogging up the freeway, we all started like, hey, let's all meet up here, and we'll get on a little bus, and we'll all go together. One car can now fit eight people instead of one car fitting one person, right? It's kind of the same idea. We're going to kind of bundle it together for more efficiency. So when we talk about this, the types of questions you're going to see, uh, what technology is responsible for communication with the CPU? CPU is what? Fast? Therefore, it's going to talk to the North Bridge. See, you guys got it. It's an easy day, right? Uh, which of the following computer components are located on the North Bridge? The hard drive, the CPU, the fan, the RAM, or the audio? Yeah, your CPU and your RAM, right? Those are fast components, right? Your audio and your hard drive are considered input-output devices. They'll be on the I.O. controller hub, also known as the South Bridge. And that's our chipsets.